Today, we will be talking about changing brakes and keeping your fridge stock. I'm Clyde and this is Tommy. Welcome to the Little House! Cheers! In today's episode, we'll be going over all the right. details of how we... Right. I need to my Blake's. We're, we're in the middle of an episode, Tommy. I really need to my Blake's, Dad. Yeah, but can it wait? I mean, we're just... I broke the So in today's episode, we'll be talking about brakes. This brakes have been the source of a lot of beer revenue for many a backyard mechanics over the past decades. Because it's complicated! And it's to mess up! No, it's not. It's one of the easiest things to service on a car. But I'm scared. I don't know why I'm doing Look, if you fix the brakes on a bicycle, you're nearly qualified to fix the brakes on a car. So where do we start? With this beautiful specimen. A 2003 Mazda Protégé. Text to get. I'm sure they do. Let's get to work. Once you got it up and the wheels off, put the key in the ignition, put it forward. This will unlock the steering wheel. Make it a lot easier to work when you can move things by hand. Now we can depress the caliper by putting a small pry bar through this hole in the caliper and pry against the rotor itself. Just don't pull too hard, give it a nice steady pressure and it should depress. This will save you a little bit of time, this way you won't have to use a caliper compression tool afterwards. Now just back the bolts off that hold the caliper in place. Now in this case it's a bit of a different design, there's only one bolt that actually holds the caliper on. The way to take these ones off is to just pry up from the bottom and slide the whole thing out. It's just a little pin that holds the top part on. Then take a little bit of mechanics wire and hang it up from somewhere up in the wheel well. You just don't want this thing hanging down onto the flex line. Now from here, taking the old pads out is as simple as taking them out by hand. Now anytime I'm just changing the pads, even if the rotors are fine, I'm going to take them off and I'm going to resurface them. Surfacing the rotors isn't as difficult as it might sound. All you need is a bit of emery cloth and some elbow grease. We do this because brakes work on friction, and there's not a lot of friction on a smooth surface. Now just clean the rotors off with brake clean. Now just put things back where you got them. Now I'm going to take a minute to put a little bit of grease on the sliders. You'll find the sliders at the bottom and at the top where the calipers mount. Now, not all kits come with these replacement brackets, but mine did, so I'm going to put those in. Now for the pads. Some cars have a left and a right, so remember which way they went in so that you can put them back in the same way. Now just put the caliper back in where you got it. Oh, 
Okay, this side's done. Just go do the same thing on the other side and we're done. Wow, that's easy. There you go. I have confidence. Okay, good. I can fix the old place. Huh? Bring your coat to me. Hold up. I just want more beer. What if they got drums? We'll see you in the next episode. Remember, a pro is just a beginner with a lot more practice. What do you guys want to see? Leave a comment down below. Hit the like button. And subscribe! subscribe. I can't stand. Oh, no. How do you always be me in this game? Because I'm in Japanese! Aww! <laughs> Why do you always be me at this game? Because I'm Canadian. <laughs>